Is she beginning to give you attitude? Is she beginning to send you signals that is telling you she's no longer interested in you or the relationship? But you're not sure. You don't want to jump into conclusions. You're not very sure. Don't worry. I'll be talking about five clear signs. She is no longer interested in you or the relationship. But please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. It is free. Please hit on the subscribe button below. And that is it. It is free, yo. Hey, no extra data. No extra money. And also, please like this video. Share this video. Drop a comment. I would love, love, love to read them. So, five plus times that shows that she's no longer interested in you or the relationship. Number one, when she begins to unnecessarily compare you to other guys. Compare your relationship to other relationships. Then she's getting tired. Okay, let's not get it twisted. There's a difference between her demanding you to be better and constantly comparing you with others. You don't demand someone to be better by comparing them with others. I know that sometimes ladies go like, um, okay, Emeka did this for Kichi. Can't you do stuff like that for me too? It's cool. It's normal. But when it becomes a regular thing, when it becomes like a competition, like constantly saying, I need you to do this for me because the other person did that for their girlfriend or oh, i need to act this way with me because emeka acted that way with Nkechi. then you know that she's becoming thoroughly unsatisfied with you and the relationship she's losing interest but she does ju she just does not know how to tell you or is sticking with you because of whatever benefits she's getting from you so if you're in a place or if you're with a babe that is now constantly comparing you or your relationship to others then just know that that girl is not satisfied with you or the relationship any longer. She's losing interest. She has lost interest. Number two, when she becomes unapologetic for anything she did, or better still for what she did that was wrong. She knows too well that this thing she did was wrong, but she's not sorry. She's not interested in being sorry. This is somebody that normally would apologize when they do something that is wrong. But right now, she does not give a fuck. She does not give a anymore. Like, she doesn't care what you think. You can... Go to hell for all I care. But she starts being unapologetic for anything she did that she knows was wrong. Then you can be rest assured that she has lost interest in the relationship. And also, if she does stuff that, I mean, she's now doing stuff that you clearly told her you don't like. I don't like this thing. I'm not cool with this stuff. But she's like, oh man, put up with it or fuck off. I couldn't care less. <laughs> just know that that babe is no longer interested in you. She's just sticking around for whatever reason. Number three is when she begins to ask less questions. When she asks questions less. I think that should be the proper way to put it. Yeah. When she asks questions less about you or everything that goes on around you, they know that she has lost interest. Women are very inquisitive, especially about a man that we like. We want to know how your day was, who you were with, who you were not with, the things you do, you did, the things you did not do. We want to know everything about you. So when She's now asking questions less and not really interested in having a long conversation with you. They know that she's no longer interested. And also when she does not really tell you about her day. You know, we like to talk about our day, about everything that happened. We want you to know everything that happened, especially when we like you. So if now she couldn't care less, she rarely, you know, says any of that anymore, my guy. She don't tire for your matter, but she don't know how to tell you. Or she has found someone else she's talking to because we have to talk to someone. It's basic. Number four, when she becomes unavailable. This is someone that used to create time for you. But all of a sudden, she's always busy. Always very busy. Yeah, she could actually be very busy for real, you get. But before now, she always tries to make sure that she creates time from her busy schedule to spend quality time with you. But now, she couldn't be bothered. I mean, I don't have time. I'm, I'm busy. Like, I'm busy. It's just a way of telling you, shoot, I don't want to do this thing again. I don't tire. But, well, she doesn't know how to tell you that. So, probably she doesn't break your heart. The fifth one is when she is now very rude. She gets angry at the slightest provocation. Small thing. She don't spark. She's upset. She's angry. I mean, these are things that normally should not get her angry or would not get her angry. But these days, any small thing, she's on fire. She's all riled up. She's so upset. She's so angry. My guy, just know that she don't tire. Like she's fed up. But still with you for whatever reason maybe because of the benefits maybe the money maybe the sex whatever but she don't tire so first off i said if she's not first off it's not in an 
it's not numerical or something but i said if she's unavailable i also said if she's unapologetic anymore i also said if she's unnecessarily comparing you and your relationship to other people and i also said if she has become very rude and uh, what was the other thing i said so um you know what i said yeah if you have found yourself in this situation there are only two options for you number one you leave gracefully with your pride intact may woman look or mess you up or number two you give her some time you see she could actually be going through something she has not been able to talk to you about yes so give her some time or mm, she has caught on to something you were doing in secret but you don't know that she has cash you uh-huh that could be another reason <laughs> or all the things you've done to hide the past the hurt, the pain everything has just resurfaced on her mind making her very angry all over again and you know she, she i mean if she starts telling you that i'm angry because you did this six months ago or one year ago you will now say she's bearing grudges she cannot let go and all of that again which is not too good but then sometimes all those things just comes back on the mind and the person just gets so angry and upset if this is the case all you need to do is to apologize to her say i'm sorry again and again you can say i'm sorry a thousand times if it will make her calm down tell her you're sorry you know before you know you have to ask so it's not like you just walk away you ask hey babe what's up i mean you're acting different waiting this up what's happening is this something i did you get so if this is the case you apologize to her tell her you're sorry you're not going to do it again you love her very much and she only you would always be there for her now and always give her assurance women love assurance so hey assurance for the music give her assurance that you're her man truth thick and thin you're there for her and um before you know what's up things will go back to normal I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. And I hope this video really helps you, is helping you, and will help you. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button below and that is it. Don't forget to share this video, please, to somebody today. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Gracias. Bye-bye.